Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a tutorial on how to do what I call and what I've heard other people call body wrap throws. Uh, it's a pretty cool throw to add to your club juggling vocabulary in addition to all the more common back crosses, reverse back crosses, etc. So I hope you enjoy this video and get something out of it. So enjoy. So essentially, a body wrap throw is a throw that wraps around your body going from your non-native hip and rib cage behind your back over your shoulder back to the same hand. Now it's different from a lot of other body throws because at least in the regular version the club returns to the same hand that threw it. So with a, with a back cross or reverse back cross or a behind the head catch the club is switching hands whereas at least in the regular version of a body wrap throw it's uh, going back to the same hand, which allows for a lot of cool variations. Now, it's essentially tracing this 45 degree angle. Your arm is going to be making the same angle following the club, and you're going to be making that line, throwing the club behind your back. The cap is almost going to be isolating itself over your shoulder back to the same hand. Now, just like back crosses, you're, as you are making the swing with your arm, you're going to be sliding your hand down the length of the club and releasing it from the knob. So that way you get the extra little flick that's necessary to get it around your body. Otherwise, grabbing it by the middle, it would be impossible to get that like flickage that would make it go around your body. Whereas if you grab it by the knob, you're able to wrap it all the way around your body. Um, A good drill to do to practice your control with body wrap throws is just to have two clubs and to just go back and forth. It makes this really easy to drill because you don't have to be worrying about switching hands with the clubs. Just go back and forth, try to get that control. Uh, it doesn't matter in the beginning if you sway your body a little bit just to be able to give yourself enough room to make the throw. Um, also another mistake that I see a lot of beginners making is just sort of lobbing it up there almost almost vertically, not following the 45 degree line and sort of looking up to try to find the club, whereas if you do the move cleanly you should just be looking, spotting the club over your shoulder and it, and it should be falling right into your hand. Uh, now there are a couple different variations on body wraps. One of the most interesting ones is to actually break the rules a little bit and switch which hand is catching the club so you're throwing from left to right and right to left uh, and you, you're going to want to cross your arms for this just to practice it and you're almost snatching the club out of the air it's a very unnatural feeling sort of catch it first uh, but after a while when you get used to it it allows for some really really interesting club juggling body throw possibilities um, and the throw looks a little bit like that it's very similar to the sort of snatch grab you see a lot where you're catching the club upside down like that um, just to practice it cross your arms and just do a body wrap throw just as you normally would but catch it with the other hand like that also another catch variation that you can do is uh, is like a penguin catch normally the clubs just falling right into your palm whereas like with a lazy or with with that sort of a throw, you're putting your palm down. So when doing a body wrap, it looks like that. And those are a little bit trickier than just the regular version, but uh, if you're doing some crazy body throws and you're in a tight spot, or you just want to look extra cool, uh, it's, uh, it adds a little something. A fun little variation on body throws, or body wrap throws, uh, are, is reversing it. So just as you can do a back cross and then reverse it and do a reverse back cross, there's also a reverse body wrap throw. And, uh, and I throw mine 
with no spin just because it's a little bit easier. The, the spinning situation gets a little bit tricky. If you really try to add that spin, you totally can do it. But essentially, a reverse body wrap is throwing from your native side to your non-native side and catching with the same hand behind your back. So it's going to look like that. And that allows for all sorts of interesting 4-2-3s and, and possibilities. Uh, and like again, like I said, I throw it with no spin just because there's a lot less to deal with. Uh, although you can give a little bit of spin. It makes it a little bit trickier, but it looks totally cool. And then there's the hand switching reverse body wrap throw, which is thrown from your non over your non-native shoulder and caught back below your native armpit with the opposite hand uh, and that looks a little something like that. Uh, and that one also allows for lots of cool possibilities. So I hope that explanation of the mechanics and the basic variations of body wraps made sense. Uh, like I said, it's a really cool throw to add to your club juggling repertoire. Uh, in addition to all the leg throws, behind the back or back crosses, body wrap throws can be a really cool uh, piece of your juggling vocabulary. And so here's a little montage of just some basic patterns that I've found that are easy to incorporate body wrap throws in, although the possibilities are endless. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and enjoy this montage. Wow.